Hey all you YouTube fans, it's Libris Blood here, and we're back. Oh, forgot to turn off the volume on that one. Sorry. That was very unprofessional. Um, so, we are back with another episode of Always Remember Me. Now, uh, I was going to start it from here last time, however, or this time. Oh my gosh. Words. Sorry. I was going to start this video from here and continue from the last episode, but lo and behold, my camera decided to go on the fritz again, uh, which probably was evident by how it looked at the end of the video last time. Awesome, right? Oh, I swear my camera hates me on this computer. Uh, also, I noticed that I was leaning too far this way, or, well, this way now, because uh, I reversed my clamp. I, I flipped the image on my camera, so now when I lean this way, it doesn't cut me off on the, um, on the face cam. I also moved my face cam up a bit and over to the side a little more, just so that it's a little bit more outside of the way for the video. But yeah, uh, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Libris Blood. I do a lot of voice work. Not okay. I shouldn't say a lot of voice work. <laughs> I tried to do a lot of voice work. It is very amateur. Uh, I actually use this as an experience for me to learn and to share my talents and gifts with other people. So welcome to my channel. If you like voice acting, if you like a little bit of regular acting, I do both a little bit, which is why the face cam is there. So you can see how I get into some of these voices. Ugh. But uh, yeah, without further ado, we're gonna get, go ahead and get started here. Uh, and last time where we left off was the quickened version of the story. If you want the full story for how the game actually progresses instead of the quick start, um, I definitely recommend going back to the, I recommend two options, either buying the game, which it's really good and really cool. Um, it's fun to play it through yourself and to hear the voices that you hear in your head when you're reading through, like a lot of people do when they're reading books. Uh, that's kind of how I run through visual novels myself. And that's kind of where I try to pull some of the ideas for the voices, but Aside from that, um, the other option that I'm going to suggest, sorry, shameless plug, but I don't know if that counts on your channel, if it's shameless plugging, uh, but the prior series, because I'm going to list, list this as the second run through um, for Always Remember Me, because I did do a playthrough originally going through the Lawrence path. Uh, if you don't know who Lawrence is, because it's your first time watching this series, or watching any of this game, this game's gameplay, um, you'll meet him in a few seconds. Uh, I don't know if that's spoilers or not, but ooh, wonder how we know Lawrence. Uh, but yeah, those are the ways. Uh, long story short, uh, our main character's name is Amarantha, Amy for short, uh, which is generally how people refer to her. Uh, her boyfriend. Aaron and her were in a car accident, uh, which kind of, I think that's how you would list it, but they were in, they were on his motorcycle and he took the brunt force trying to protect Amy from the full impact of the car, which is a very sweet thing, but where as Amy got out with minor injuries, Aaron actually ended up contra um, contracting a very serious head injury and now has amnesia, but his amnesia only goes back so far that he doesn't, he goes back so far as to the point before him and Amy start dating, hence the name Always Remember Me. So the premise of the game is either getting Aaron back, which we're not doing in this playthrough because I want you guys to experience um, because I haven't experienced them and I think they're very interesting storylines that would be interesting to go down. But the other two characters, 
Eddie and Hugh. Eddie, who you saw in the beginning, he didn't talk too much uh, because we did the quickened version, but through the original full version of the backstory uh, in the other playthrough, um, you generally see he's a younger doctor, maybe early 30s at the most. Probably not. He looks like he's in his late 20s. Um, which is very unrealistic. I think he's actually early 30s or whatever, but whatever. Besides that, um, there's also Hugh, who you'll also meet eventually. But I want to go down those paths instead. Uh, but the general premise is you're trying to find either a way to get Aaron to remember you and fall back in love with you because you shared a really intimate and strong relationship with him and you shared a lot of love with him or maybe finding love elsewhere and it, it's a very interesting game and it's very a very sad thing it's kind of uh, I, hate, I hate saying it just because I don't think uh, I, I don't know the the book or the uh, the uh, plot line for the movie either very well the the plot for the book or the movie very well sorry for touching my eyes I was sneezing earlier um, but uh, the notebook esque kind of where it's somebody who's going through memory loss and the, the their uh, significant other tries to get them to remember kind of thing but except with other options now you know um but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get started oh my gosh it's already seven minutes and i have been talking up a storm let's get started here i got ready and arrived at the shop 15 minutes before the start of my shift i hadn't wanted to dwell at home though as soon as i walked in i knew i was too i was too early I think I dropped her voice a little too much. It was still early morning and there were only a few customers around. I was surprised to catch sight of a familiar face seated at one of the tables, apparently taking a break from work. Hey Amy, are, are you alright? I couldn't help but notice the genuine worry on his expression when he saw the bruises on my arms and legs. I appreciated the con I, I appreciated his concern. Good morning, Lawrence. I'm doing okay. Uh, are you sure? Those bruises look really painful. Yes, I'm sure. They, they really aren't as bad as they look. Really? I don't know if I could work with bruises like... Uh, I don't know if I could work with bruises that big. You're a strong woman. Yeah, sorry if the, if the accident offends anybody. This is the closest I could get this very poorly put together, kind of haphazardly put together, really british is accent. It's much closer to just the fake British accent everybody uses when they're trying to imitate people who are actually British in America. Sorry if you if, if that offends you too, but you know some people do it, and actually a lot of people do it. But yeah, I'm, I apologize. That's the closest. Um, I might change up some of his lines to make it easier for my voice to do it. But yeah, uh, water. Sorry. It really helps. <laughs> I can hardly feel them. Thanks, though. Uh, how did it happen? You aren't in any trouble, are you? I think it's... It... We're honest. Lawrence is a co-worker. He's a close-ish friend let's tell him everything right 
Oh. Well, I got in a car accident. What? 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 When was that? How did it happen? I felt a little bad for worrying him, but the tenderness in his eyes made me feel slightly better. It was nice to know that there were people who cared. I decided to explain to him what had happened since there was little secret to it. I was on a motorcycle with Aaron. He protected me when we got into the crash. That's why I'm not very badly hurt. It wasn't his fault. They think the other driver was drunk. Don't drink and drive, please. Please, don't. Don't. Like, th th this is his game, but this is my PSA for uh, this video. And I think I said it in the last video, too. And I usually do this for, like, when something serious is brought up. Don't drink and drive. I don't care how much you trust yourself or how good you, of a driver you think you are. Do not dri drive under the influence of anything, whether it be drugs or alcohol. Because it's not only you putting your life at, in, in risk, but you're putting the other people in your car and everybody else in the world at risk. Like everybody else on the road is at risk or that is walking the streets. Like, it, it's a very serious problem. Like, and it should not. I, I feel bad because it's one of those things that I feel like a lot of people get sick and tired of hearing because it gets beaten to death, but it's because it's that serious and a lot of people don't listen and they continue to do it. So that's my PSA for the moment or for the video. Uh, I don't think there's something else that's going to come up, but, you know, yeah, P please just, just don't. That's terrible. Uh, how, how's Aaron? I haven't heard anything about him recently. Actually, actually, Aaron suffered a head injury. He has amnesia now. I apologize for like Oh my gosh. Apologize for that. Um those are just really bugging me and I seem to have failed to remember to pick up tissues. Sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. How bad is it? Uh, will he recover? They think that... They think he will, luckily. It isn't too extensive, but... But... He... Doesn't remember me anymore. The amount of times that they almost say the name of the game, it's like one of those moments that a lot of gamers do, and people freak out. Like, I've seen so many gameplays uh, where people are playing through Until Dawn for the first time, as an example, and everybody loses it when they hear them say Until Dawn in the game's dialogue. It's a little nerdy thing, but it's really cool when the game gets really, like, breaks that little fourth wall. Actually, it's not really breaking the fourth wall, but when it self-references itself. Like, when you, you never hear really the title of the game, inside the game uh save for a few titles like metal gear is another one because it's named after the weapons in the games you know the metal gears but yeah lawrence oh my gosh the voices keep eluding me lawrence lawrence is wide-eyed lawrence lawrence is wide-eyed Eyes white. Oh my gosh. Lawrence's eyes widened slightly. 
when I revealed the cost of Aaron's protection. Amy. It's not so bad, though. Thanks for worrying about me, Lawrence. Oh, there we go. Uh, and there goes the sound. Uh, relationship change plus five. Lawrence, why I forget that they all have last names. <laughs> I forget every time that they all have last names, and I feel so bad because I never reference them. It's really nice to see people who still care, but I've got to go start my shift. Uh, I'll talk to you more later. See you later. Uh, see you later. Uh, sorry. I practice these voices, I promise. <laughs> They're so bad because sometimes I get right on the money of what I how I did the voice the first time and then sometimes I do a variant that's a little too high or too low or just a tiny bit a tinge bit different anyways during the summer oh this is the narrator which I'll just do in Amy's voice because I said Amy was going to be our narrator because it's easier than me going back into my voice during the summer Amy works part-time from morning to noon from Monday to Friday as a waitress in an ice cream parlor owned by an old friend of Gwenda's. She gets paid only with tips, usually around $5 each turn. Being kind to the customers will earn her more money, so depending on her mood, she can earn more. Currently, our morale is at 21, so we're not going to make a lot in tips. Sad to say. There are good and bad days, but in general, working will always lower her energy by a good amount, and morale by a small amount. This energy can be restored in several ways. Some are drinking or eating, relaxing, or taking a nap at home, and at the end of every day when you get in bed. There are other ways to gain both energy and morale, and also improve Amy's stats, but discovering them is also part of the fun of playing the game. Now the workday will start, and you will see the results. This is the first week. Uh, if this first week goes bad, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry, jeez. I think my allergies are kicking in. <laughs> oh my. I apologize, Jesus. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Um, this is normal since Amy's morale is very low because of what just happened. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Well. I'll be damned. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Success. I was very kind, and people rewarded me accordingly. <sighs> I wasn't really in the right mood to be kind to the customers. Case in point, my morale is now 12, and my energy is 49. You guys can see it now, but uh, before that little chibi character <laughs> on the side panel, actually changes her emotion based on this failure success or whatever mood or event just currently occurs in the game i'm sorry but like my nose is now stuffed up because i'm sneezing so much so my voice is going to sound a little off at noon your regular shift is over but you can come here again and decide to do overtime if you have enough morale and energy until evening. You can also come here any time to perform other actions like talking to Lawrence who works here full time every day until evening or get an ice cream for yourself. Remember though that doing overtime is a very stressing action and if your morale is low it's really a bad idea. I still feel weak. It'll be better if I get back 
home now. I don't think they would allow me to see Aaron yet. Anyway. <laughs> when I get... When I got home from work, I found the house empty except for my cat, Nina. Nina and I went up to my room and... I'm gonna move the mouse because I always forget that I pull uh, from these pictures. I always pull um, for the cover photos. I pull from whatever I have. Um, but yeah, we're gonna... I'm gonna see how I'm gonna do them this time around. Uh, cause I don't want you to do the same things as last time. Nina and I went up to my room and I turned the computer on to check my email, mostly to see if there was any news from Aaron's family or the hospital. Excuse me. I knew it was rather unlikely to have more correspondence from them so soon, but couldn't help but hold on to the hope that there would be something new. I sat down at my desk and looked around my inbox, scanning the titles and senders of the new and unread messages. I frowned when I saw there was nothing new from Eddie or anyone else from the hospital crew. Nothing good. Too bad. I decided to do some research on amnesia. It took a while before I found anything interesting, but after a bit of searching around, I found the following explanations about the basics of amnesia. Amnesia is a condition in which memory is disturbed or lost completely. People can forget about things they did or sim or they will simply fail to remember the things they are uh, that uh, fail to remember the things they are currently doing in the near future. I kept reading but only got confused from the more complicated medical terms. I was distracted from my reading when a small notification box saying I had a new email popped up. <laughs> from secretadmirer at net.rr.edu to amy to amy21 at mybookreviews.com subject you you have one new inbox message i clicked it a bit absentmindedly since the address was unknown maybe i shouldn't open it it could be a virus or spam nina hopped up onto the desk and meowed rather loudly well i suppose it wouldn't hurt to see what it is right nina I opened the mail, eyeing the unknown address warily. The message was simple and written in plain black text. Hey there, Amy. I hear you're quite the poet. I'd love to read more of your work, but you don't really have... Uh, but you don't really share it with anyone, do you? I'm a big fan, and your secret admirer, as the saying goes. Keep writing, girl. Tell him to stop or ignore the message. I think it would be probably better to tell him to stop. Sometimes secret admirers get a little carried away. I shook my head slightly and clicked the response button. I typed a simple message and sent it back to him. Please don't bother me. I was about to check my book review blog when the computer shut down. I tried to restart it several times, but nothing happened. My computer just had to break at a time like this. For a moment, I thought it might have been a virus from that mysterious email, but then realized that was silly. The computer wouldn't have, wouldn't even turn on, so the failure was clearly in the hardware. Nina, still sitting on my desk, gave me a puzzled look. Great. Now I won't be able to check my email or my or blog from home anymore. Failure. Ugh, my computer's my computer broke. I'll have to buy a new one. Why is this happening all at once? I must go to sleep now. Tomorrow I have to work. And the day summary where our stats come up. Uh, this will give us... Now clearly at this point you should know Lawrence, Eddie, Aaron, and this is Hugh. So at the end of the days uh, it'll give us our stats, what we lost, what we gained. Uh, most of the time we only lose things from morale and energy. We can and money. But we can mess up on the conversation choices between these guys, and sometimes that'll kind of, you know, nip us in the butt, and uh, we kind of end up losing a lot of uh, very important relationships, uh, because there are only so many, 
so many ways to get those points and the big event ones you should not mess up like really they're very important very hard to to get awesome. points from awesome. success i slept really well i dreamed i was in a world made of ice cream morale plus 24 and energy plus 30 i think i need to hurry my morning shift at the ice cream shop starts soon yes i was very kind and people rewarded me accordingly oh i wasn't really in the right mood to be kind to the customers yeah the algorithm for that works really weird and you know it happens uh we're gonna go to the hospital really quick we're running on time again and which sounds really weird how fast that goes uh because i like to leave two minutes two to three minutes for the outro and conclusion i'm sorry for sniffling in this video it's not gonna happen in the next one i hope uh, i want to go to the hospital today i want to see aaron I miss him. Oh. I went to the hospital to go visit Aaron, but as soon as I entered the, his room, I had the feeling the visit wasn't going to go very well. Uh, good morning, Aaron. Uh, hi. How are you feeling today? A little better, thanks. He smiled at me politely, but without any of the tenderness I was used to seeing. An awkward silence settled in as I sat down at the chair bes beside his bed. Lacking any other ideas to really get the conversation going, I decided, I decided to start with something simple. I didn't want to pressure him with anything that the medics wouldn't approve of me discussing with them. How's the hospital food around here? Is it okay? Ugh. And uh, we're gonna wait on Aaron's response for next time. We're gonna end on that really bad question because if you have ever asked this question or been asked this question, please write your response in the comments section. I want to, because I know what I normally say when people ask me that if I've been on a plane recently or if like I, I see some people ask that when a family member's in the ho been, been to the hospital and stays overnight it's like oh how's the food it's, it's food some of it's bad some of it's good you know but yeah so we're gonna wrap up here today or wrap up for this right here for this video uh, thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video uh, if you liked it, please do click that like button down below. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you want to go the extra step and hit the subscribe, subscribe button, uh, that would be amazing. And, you know, you get to see more of this kind of sort of acting that thing that I do here. Um, but yeah, and if, like always, if you have any tips, tricks, comments, questions, concerns, anything and everything under the sun or moon, please do put it in that comment section below because that is your best friend and best way of co contacting me and communicating with me and the other people who are watching these videos because hey who doesn't want to just have a nice conversation about some of the things that are happening in the game uh but yeah uh so we're gonna pick up here next time uh but yeah this is Libra's Blood, and I'm... Oh, I messed that up. This is Libra's Blood, and I'm signing out.